Hey everybody, this is Riker Rider, and welcome back to Let's Play Wario Land. We're going to start today's episode off by climbing the Great Divine Tree. Nope, that's for another LP. But we do get to, but we do get to climb a giant tree. For what that's worth. This level's not too bad. It just has a lot of uh, vertical scrolling. I, I want to say that this world is the last world we're going to be seeing that guy in. Not this level, but this world. I think you see the cloud again in stage 36. Unsure. My memory of this game isn't perfect. Why is there so much glitching? Yeah, this game does have uh, sound, like sound and sprite generation issues with stuff that's just off screen. There can be some strange sound effects going on here and there. But the coding, for the most part, is pretty solid. I've only found one way to break it so far. Chickens! I want to farm you for your monies, just like in Earthbound. Because monies. Damn it. Oh, whatever. Ah, jet helmet. That'll be useful in showing off a couple of fairly interesting things later in the stage. Why'd that monster get killed? Doesn't make much sense. And even what monster got killed anyway? Don't need you there anymore. I guess it must have been one of those pirate guys I knocked off the screen or something. I don't have a clue. Huh. Must have just bumped into that guy and not got hit for some reason. Uh, that door that I skipped, that door that I skipped in the previous room leads to the halfway marker. I don't want either of those, because the jet helmet's more useful. Now, one of these, I think this is the one, yeah. This is an interesting gimmick. I want to fly over here to just double check my direction. Yeah, it is correct. Yeah, these, the final areas are, are actually linked. So if you have a jet helmet, you can actually fly across here and get up to the top of the tree where the key is. Because normally you would have to break the key, break the block open that has the key in it, climb down, and then get all the way back over here to the treetop where the golden baseball mitt is. Why a baseball mitt? I have no clue. I guess it's a reference to the golden glove. That's about the only thing I can think of. But you know what? I'm just going to show you how you're supposed to find this anyway. If, you, if for some reason you don't have a jet helmet, just takes you back in here. And another thing I really forgot to mention and never came to mind is how strong Wario is being able to swim through tree sap. Just like it's water. Which is a pretty unique and awesome talent, may I say. Alright, maybe we can get in the 700s, 
Actually, will this be will this be in the 700s? No, it'll be 684. Close enough to 700. Matter of fact, I think if I succeed twice at this uh, coin mini game, that should put me over the top. Damn it! Really, it was on the right side all three times. Gay. This is the hard train. quiet for this one because this is this is the harder of the two train levels and there's a lot of places where you can fall don't want to activate platforms too early the stage is just a mess I guess the stage does throw plenty of jet helmets at you though which are useful for crossing those large gaps I would still err on the side of caution here though there's enough things that can just get you in a ton of trouble. Shouldn't have activated that platform yet. I don't have nearly enough time to see what I'm doing. Although I can't remember if this... I guess this has more hairy jumps in it rather than rather than enemies being a problem, like there was on the previous train. the end of the train segment. Should be anyway. If I'm a little bit quiet, it's because I'm also watching uh, I'm also watching the uh, the MTGS IRC to figure out what's going on with my suspension. Because supposedly um Supposedly what happened is one of the uh, admins overreacted, or one of the mods rather overreacted, and they're trying to get me back in. Hopefully. Because... And even if I do get back in, I probably won't post in standard again because of just how I've been treated for... This is why I hate the internet some days. There's lots of nice things about the internet, yes, but dramas, yeah. Anyway, stage 36. Ready to see the hardest boss in the game? He's at the end of this stage, and I am going to be activating the midway marker here, because of the difficulty of this boss. I died at least once on every test run that I did for this game. Uh, right in this stage. Aw, oh, you're not close enough. 
There we go. The stage itself is really linear. There's no branching paths or anything. Just... Just one long side-scroller. Is this where the midway marker is? Oh no, I think there's a hundred coin piece in here. Oh! Three lives. Like we need any more lives, we have 60. Damn it! Oh well. At least I can still do that. Hey, I hate these stupid morning star things. Well, not morning stars. These are just spike balls. Morning star actually has a chain on it. I will get this, though. That's useful. Really? Did it have to disappear right before I was going to collect it? Another tactic for surviving this stage is trying to outrace the cloud. Because if you hold up like you're supposed to, you can actually uh, you're, you can actually run faster than he can uh, chase you. I would really like to hit a, uh, a power up before I get to the boss, because what makes there's something about him that makes him really hard, and you'll immediately see what it is. Don't let this guy touch you, because he'll paralyze you for quite some time. You're supposed to take those ghosts that I hate so much and throw them at him. And doing that can be really annoying, because he has some very nasty patterns that hopefully I won't have to show you guys. Ah, damn it. There we go. Well, for once something went smoothly on camera. And I think this guy gives the biggest reward out of all the bosses. Oh, big enough. Let's finish this stage off with hopefully a successful coin minigame and move on to the final world of the game. That's not a good start. Maybe get some back here. Here we go. 424. That's a great way to finish off. If we're not past the threshold for the top ending, we're close. Close enough that I should be able to get it in the last few stages. Well, that'll do it for this episode of Let's Play Wario Land. Next time on Let's Play Wario Land, we are going to infiltrate Syrup Castle going through stages 37, 38, and 39. See you later!